Hi everybody. Uh, this uh, quick little video is going to uh, showcase uh, a feature of uh, Beaver Builder that I was unaware of until shown by uh, Ben from Beaver Builder Support. Uh, this was in response to a question I posted on the forum about how I could switch an image um, in mobile portrait view. In other words, I needed to swap out an image when viewed on my iPhone. Uh, specifically, it was a, a directional uh, image uh, that was pointing to the left in the, the regular size screen, which makes sense, uh, was in a call out. Uh, but when viewed on the iPhone on a narrow mobile device, uh, of course it doesn't quite make sense because now the uh, call outs are stacked and the uh, image is pointing to the, uh, to the right, I should say, not left. And, um, and I thought, well, what about if you could switch that image to a pointing down to point to the uh, text from the call out. That would be really cool. And I was thinking, well, you can probably do something with CSS and the like, but uh, Ben came back with a very elegant solution that is actually built right in to Beaver Builder, uh, any version, including the uh, free uh, light version available on the WordPress repository. So, with that set up in mind, let's go show how easy it is to do just that. And we'll go back to the back end. And we'll start a new page. We'll call it a, a switch image on mobile. And again, set this up for a while. No sidebar, publish. I like doing that first. I don't know why, but I do. Run it into our page layout. Now, for this one, I'm going to uh, simulate a call out by using just the uh, features that would be available on the light version. Uh, the, of course, uh, advanced modules uh, in the uh, pro version would have a call out, but we're just going to use the basic ones a photo and a text editor. But we need the rows, and to simulate three columns uh, of a call out, I'm going to use the six column row. So we'll drag that on, and we're going to have our photo in the first one. We'll select a photo from the ones I have here, that'll be our first one. We'll save and let's go ahead and duplicate that, put it into that one, duplicate again, and put it into our third call out. Go we'll change the image to green, and again change the image to the blue one arrow, or the blue circle with a white arrow. So there's our graphics. Now we're going to add some text. What are we going to put in there? Hurry. At the Beaver Builder plugin. Oh. And let's just make that see, heading three. There we go. Okay, little one. And again, we'll just uh, duplicate that. And again, where's move? Ah, there we go. So there's our little roll of uh, callouts. Publish that change. Let's go back and look at it on the front. Refresh. 
And here we go. However, this is what I was saying. When we narrow this down, um, the images are still pointing to the right. Now, wouldn't it be neat to have them point down? Well, that's easy enough to do. Uh, we'll fix the logo responsive item uh, later in another video. But for now, uh, that's how it is. Now, let's just show you how easy it is to fix that. Go back to Page Builder. Here's our row. Now we're going to duplicate the row. And we're going to change the photo. You got it. To the down pointing photos. Photos, graphic. Circles with arrows. And the other one. So, this will be our row that will be displayed on a mobile device with a narrow screen, and this will be the regular one. Well, how do you set that up? Easy. Too easy. Row settings. Advanced. Ooh, responsive layout. Display when. How about on large and medium devices only? Select that. And save. And what do you think we're going to use here? How about small devices only? Save. And watch what happens when you click Done and Publish Changes. Poof! It's gone. Where did it go? Well, let's just go see how that works. So, refresh again. Here is our normal widescreen version. And we'll narrow it up until we get to that break point. And there comes our other row pointing down. Isn't that slick? I think it is. And uh, yeah, thanks again, Ben, uh, for pointing out this amazing feature in Beaver Builder. Okay, see you all later.